Hey, hey guys, Coder Lifestyle Vlog number 69. So one of the advantages of owning your own business is freedom. So it's a workday afternoon. Now it's one o'clock. One of the things I do is number one, you got to integrate healthy habits in your lifestyle. So what I do instead of driving, I go to lunch by biking downtown. It's not too far from here, 15 minute bike ride from my place. And uh, I go to lunch there. Now I go off hours. It's around 1:30 now. It's around 1:30 now because I don't want to have to deal with uh, waiting in line, lunchtime crowd. So there you go. So just in case you don't know, this is Montreal. I'm in Mount Royal Park. There's a mountain here, and it's a, a pleasant ride to uh, downtown this way. Yeah, I didn't end up taking any footage of me eating or drinking a coffee downtown. Not the most exciting footage, so. I'm getting a lot of questions from people who are interested in this specialization of programming or that specialization of programming. They'll ask me, you know, I want to get into Java. Should I learn this? Java has changed over the years. I only know this level of Java. Should I learn that level of Java? Or I want to get into AI, should I learn this, should I learn that, etc., etc. And they, they list common technologies that are used out there in the field. General advice when you're looking at job opportunities. Number one, you, of course, you got to learn your fundamentals of development and software programming and so on. Number two is what you do is you look at the market in which you want to secure work. So if you're looking at the local job market in Java development, if you're looking at certain types of businesses, go to their sites or go to the job sites and see exactly what it is that they're looking for in terms of skill sets. Make sure you have the other requirements as well. Certain companies will require that you have certain levels of certification or degrees. Other companies won't. But you don't need to ask me whether or not uh, you should learn this technology or that technology to get a job. Just look at uh, the local employers and see what they're asking for. They'll say, we need you to know this, we need you to know that. And that's pretty much what you need to do. Again, the key to advanced software development, the key is to first learn your foundations, then do a couple little jobs, and then go out there and figure out what it is you need to learn for the particular type of job that you're looking for or the type of uh, business that you want to start. I encourage people to look at uh, the latter. Don't be afraid to start a business. Don't be afraid to get into freelancing. It uh, is most difficult in the beginning, these things, just like learning how to code. The hardest part about learning how to code is just to get past that initial hump to get past that initial wall, that mental barrier that everybody has to contend with, everybody has to deal with. Uh, once you get past that though, once you understand how programming works, once you understand the basics of software development, all of a sudden it becomes far, far easier. In fact, a lot of the complexity in software development has little to do with coding. Let me say that again. Much of the complexity of real-world software development has little to do with coding. It has to do with constant problem solving within a context. So let me elaborate on that. For example, we've been dealing with a new feature that we added to Studio Web, the Studio Web SaaS, Studio Web software that's used by lots and lots of schools. So we have a district that has a whole bunch of schools that hooks up to Studio Web every year. Uh, I think this district has 27 schools, 27 buildings. And uh, so they, they wanted this year the ability to be able to manage their classrooms remotely through a uh, comma delimited file, a, a CSV file. 
And so in fact, they can create classrooms, move students, uh, change passwords, et cetera, et cetera, all kinds of functionality. So because they were a client I've had for several years now, I decided, okay, we're going to build that custom interface for them because it just made sense for their particular needs. So the complexity of his job was not building the code, writing the code that would um, parse the uh, CSV files that they were going to send up to us. No, the complexity was figuring out uh, what it is we allowed them to do, uh, what security we had to put into place, how did we uh, allow them to upload the information, what type of server environment we needed to use for that, etc. Et There's all these different environmental factors that were actually the complex part. Writing the code that actually did it was actually the easiest part of the process. It was figuring out the architecture and the processes that uh, made sense given uh, the, studio web the studio web server's environment and also made sense for our clients in terms of what they were, uh, how they wanted to work and how they were set up. So for example, uh, to consume, uh, to excuse me, to do, have a proper connection between our systems and their systems, I had to use a third party server. So we created a, another cloud installation on another server in actually another part of the world that uh, serves as a, a bridge, an intermediary between our system and their system. I won't get into details for all kinds of reasons, but yeah, one of the myths, I think, or one of the conceptions that a lot of people have out there in terms of being developers is that it's, uh, the hard part is writing the code. No. The hard part is actually all these uh, architectural issues that surround the code. And that's why I designed my courses the way I've designed my courses. That's why people learn so much more quickly. Because just learning how to write a function in Java uh, or JavaScript, uh, having learning how to build the generic, um, you know, uh, map client uh, using Python or the generic web scraper with Python or et cetera, that's not the complexity of writing code. It's being able to do the analysis, to be able to do the problem solving. That is really, that's, that's the hard part.